Hey guys, and welcome to Amy's Corner. So today I want to go over some of my body and skincare recommendations for the Sephora sale. All right, let's get started. As far as face washes, um, I have been loving the uh, Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Youth to the People. This this is my travel um, size. I purchased the large refill size, which it doesn't have a pump. So unfortunately, you would have to already have, I think it's the regular size that comes with a pump in order to refill it from that big size that they sell. So I am almost halfway done, but I am resisting the urge to buy another one because I think it'll last me through next um through the next sale which is i guess sometime in april may i'm trying to resist the urge to buy another one but this leaves your skin i don't want to say squeaky clean because i don't like that feeling because it tends to feel tight this leaves your skin yummy clean fresh it leaves it bouncy that is awesome another um facial cleanser that I love is the fresh soy cleanser amazing as well I haven't purchased that one in a while but I love that um I love I really recommend that facial cleanser okay next as far as um treatments as far as masks and scrubs for the face there are three masks that I kind of go between that I go back and forth with. So the first one is the Pharmacy Honey Potion. Amazing. So I it has a little magnetic uh, like spoon, but I lost it. So I just scoop it up. And this stuff, I mean, it is, it literally looks like honey and it could be a little gooey. When you spread it on your face, it tends to turn white, a little like milky white you leave it on when you wipe that off so i take a warm towel and i start wiping it off i cleanse it re-wet wet it with um warm water and your skin feels amazing another mask that i love is the um tlc baby facial by drunk elephant amazing as well with this one, you do have to be a little bit careful because it could irritate your skin. So if you don't do well with AHA or BHA, then maybe this would be too harsh for your skin. But this leaves your skin baby soft. Another mask that I love, there's something about this mask that it's like, at least in my case and in the case of my son, because I use this on, on my son as well. I reordered this one, but the larger size. This is the... Caudalie um, Venergetic C. This is the Instant Detox Max Mask. Okay, it's the dark green. And I think this is wood or plastic made to look like wood. On my son, this, he's starting to break out a lot. I put this on him and all the blackheads and whiteheads came to the surface. He cleanses skin and they literally fell off. When I use this as well, I can tell that my face gets um, decongested. This stuff is amazing. I love it. In the shower, when I want to um, give my face a little bit of a physical exfoliation, um, I use the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask by Peter Thomas Roth. I don't know how many, I mean, this must be my 10th um, pot that I use. I love it. It does smell like pumpkin, but it's not. Mm. I really enjoy this mask, this, this scrub. So what I do is my whole face, I don't go in there aggressively, very softly, but in like continuous motions up, up and on my neck and sometimes on my chest, okay? So again, great. Moving on to body. This, this stuff is amazing. 
This is Skin Fix. This is the Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub. So I purchased this specifically for my son. So he um, he tends to have uh, keratosis pilaris, KP, like chicken skin. This, it keeps it at bay. This stuff is amazing, guys. Even like if you want to use it as a body scrub, um and just like scuff off all your dead cells like i do this on my decolletage and on my um shoulders and my elbows and my knees this one amazing as well but this one has really helped my son's skin condition on his knees on his thighs on his chest on his arms especially this stuff has been amazing and the cream the same resurface cream we ran out of it we're going through, I'm waiting to go through some of the Cetaphil um, moisturizer before I buy the cream again. But this stuff, I'm never without this. In the shower, guys, the Necessary Body Wash. This has, um, it's eucalyptus uh, scented. It smells, ah, uh, your whole bathroom will smell like a spa, okay? Um, this is, let's see, this is multivitamin replenish, replenishing cleanse the body wash is a replenishing cleanse for the skin use over body massage for rich, rich foam and it has okay glycerin niacinamide vitamin c vitamin e omega-6 omega-9 this stuff is amazing i mean they have i'm not sure if they have it for this sale but for the last sale they had the big refill bottle so i purchased that one and there's another one in, I think it's in my cart. So guys, this, I think they do sell non-fragrance, like no fragrance and another one. But eucalyptus, guys, this is, you, it's like a spa. That's all I can say. So once I come out of the shower, okay, I pat dry my skin. And while my skin's a little moist still, I like to put on the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body. Again, this has AHA and BHA. So again, if you're sensitive to that, this is not for you guys. But this makes it literally, your skin starts to glow. It feels silky smooth, glowing. It looks healthy and toned. Amazing. All right, what's next? Deodorant. All right. Again, the Necessaire... Uh, eucalyptus gel deodorant i love this stuff i think the new packaging it's um opaque it's not like a frosted glass that you can see how much you have left i'm not sure why they changed the packaging but this stuff now let's say you are going to be outside all day this might not be enough i work from home i'm inside air conditioner all day this is fine for me let's go in the order I would put on my skincare. These products, these two products I'll apply before I apply my, my moisturizer when I'm gonna put makeup on. Um, or when I want to just refresh, you know, give myself a little bit of moisture. Um, if I'm not gonna put me, if, I, if I'm going to put my moisturizer at night, I do not put this, it depends really. If I wanna have a very spa-like winding down, I will. But sometimes I won't. All right, so I'm talking about the, oh God, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night, Stay All Day. Um, so this I'll apply before my moisturizer, after I've done my makeup, throughout the day if I want to refresh. This is, again, I know the packaging is kind of cheesy. It has so many letterings. Charlotte Tilbury, if you could just rebrand or do something, you can leave this with the wings, but get rid of all the wording. It's too just, it's just, it looks cheap. But this is amazing. Let me. Mm. And it smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Anyways, this is very refreshing. Another one that I love, it's the Caudalie, the Elixir. Yes, the Beauty Elixir. 
soothing glowing complexion all skin types you have to shake it because it does have like a little bit of oil in it but this stuff oh i know i'm overdoing it oh my gosh it smells so good i'm a very i'm the type of person who loves scents so for example i do like my makeup to smell like uh the meteorites by what is that Guerlain? oh i love that smell what's the other one um the one that smells everything smells like roses oh uh, i forgot but i love anything that's scented so both of these throughout the day i have i have small versions of this that i'll put in my purse um i just love this stuff all right so those two excellent now what i don't currently have is a toner um I have the La Mer. I don't think it's the toner. It's the, let me show you. Well, I'm not even going to show you because I can't tell if it's doing anything. It feels great. Yes, it feels great. But I cannot, I cannot recommend it. It is pricey and I don't know if it's, you're getting the, all the benefits out of it you know what i mean so i'm not even gonna mention that all right something that you will see instant results i mean instant so the way um i put on my skincare before i put on my makeup is i obviously i put my these um elixir setting spray whatever something to moisturize my face and then on top of that i'll put serums because I think they say you put the lighter serum-y products on first and then you layer on the creams. So I'll either go in with the C Firma Drunk Elephant, which is a vitamin C serum. Amazing. Or, which I, I'm really loving this one, the Clarins. This is the double serum. Both of these products give you an instant glow. Um, I remember several people when I use this for like a whole week straight, they're like, you've done something to your, you've done something to your face. Have you done Botox? Have you done something? Because my face was so, it was so, it was taut, firm, but glowy and not the look like if I had had Botox done or anything like that. It just looked amazing. This one, the same. This stuff, you put it on, you get a glow. It stays with you all day long. So these two, awesome. All right. Then I will, so it depends. If I, especially when I used to go into the office, I used to use this one a lot more when I was in the office. And I'm not sure why. Because in the office, it was really, really cold, okay? And I needed something to really hold like have my makeup grip on so i'm talking about the vitamin enriched face space by bobby brown this stuff is and it smells amazing but i use this one alone as well this is great and so is the eye cream okay the eye cream it's the vitamin enriched eye base okay you just have to be a little careful. Make sure you don't get it inside your eyeballs. But this combination, excellent, great. I love it. It just feels juicy, bouncy, delicious. Okay. Then another, and I'm going to, I'm going to be unapologetic about this because I think I've given you guys, you know, a price range, you know, at the lower end and the higher end of what you can find at Sephora. But I have tried to look for a replacement for this um, moisturizer and I haven't been able to, all right? And when I do, believe me, I will let you guys know. So I am talking about the La Mer. Uh, this is the Moisturizing Soft Cream. So this I repurchased this time around because I am almost on empty so i usually re i usually buy the gel the cool gel cream and i buy this one too but i did not buy the gel cream this time around 
because I have found that my face does fine with this one. The reason why I used to buy the gel cream and I have a little bit left is because I have oily skin. Now, and I was always scared, like they have the regular one and they have the soft moisturizing one. So they have three, the, the gel, the soft, and just the regular La Mer cream. It all has the same ingredients, but one is a gel base. This is somewhere in between. And then you have the cream thick cream. That for me, I don't like to feel like that heavy um, cream on my face. This is a nice balance in between both the gel and the cream. So that's why I, I like the soft cream. It's, I just, I love it. I, I love this cream. I've seen a difference. Um, when I've been without it, I can tell already in my face, I'm like, oh, I need to get my cream. So I just, you know what? And here's the thing, you, because I would buy drugstore, um, moisturizers and they easily go for $30. Okay. So with, you saw the amount I put on, right? This goes a long way. Like this is almost half of my face. You take, you take a dot like that, boom, 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 and that's all you need. So this goes a long way. So, you know, of course, if it's in your budget, the other eye cream. Now I have not found the miracle eye cream that gets rid of all my, um, crow's feet, but this one. And I have to say this one, the Bobbi Brown is awesome too. But the Eye Balm Intense, okay, I'm almost done. Uh, but you know what, I'm not going to order this one. Because this, again, this goes a long way too. You just get a little bit on your, you dab it on, and then you just softly, you know, spread it on. But it smells amazing. I love it. It quenches my under eyes um, when I wake up in the morning. The nights I don't put it on, I can tell automatically that, oh boy, my skin needs a drink of water and it's this or this one, okay? Then, sunscreen. All right. Um, the two sunscreens I really, really like that are available at Sephora because I swear by the PCA brand, but that one I can't find at Sephora. It's the Sishado. This is the Urban Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector SPF 42. This, um, I use it for my face and my body, okay? I use the PCA more for my body, this for my face. And the Super Goop, the Unseen Sunscreen Super Goop. This stuff, again, I can't live without this. Sometimes I even combine these two to make this one not and it doesn't really leave a white overcast that's what i like about it it's very serum -y. you see it's like a liquid it'll but you know it is you just have to really put it in there like rub it in there's no white overcast but sometimes i just combine these two so but i love these love these swear by these you do need to reapply um so these especially on the beach i reapply like maybe every hour and a half at most you know if i go in the water come back out of the water i'll apply some more on um i love it and you don't burn um so these two in sephora are great finally for night time all right and this is a more recent purchase so usually when i didn't when i didn't have this one that I'm about to show you, I would put this at night or one of my Retin-A's or what else do, did I use at night? Um, I had a Southies cream. Well, non, no creams that you can find at Sephora. These are creams that you can't find at Sephora. So for creams that you can find at Sephora, a lot of times I use this for nighttime. But I recently found the Midnight Recovery Omega rich cloud cream guys this stuff is amazing it's the keels 
Midnight Recovery, but cream. If you've heard, if that sounds familiar, it's because they have the Midnight Recovery oil. And I'm about to, this is, maybe I have a couple of more uses of this one. I have a backup already on this. But this, your skin the next day, it's thick. Smells amazing. But it's like a comforter for your skin. Oh my gosh, here's, I'm going to use this one tonight. I've been using this one because I knew I was going to buy another one. But this stuff is, and your skin absorbs it. The next morning, you look amazing. I love this cream. All right. So, um, a couple of years ago, I was starting to break out here. And it was like in, in, in like, multiple breakouts like three or four pimples on here then here then here and it was like and then they would get irritated i'm like what is going on with my skin it must have been something hormonal i don't know but the point is i would pick at it and oh my gosh i couldn't get rid of it one day i came across this video from oh my gosh what's her name well whoever it was she recommended the she recommended this stuff I have not stopped using this since then. I'll use this maybe three times a week. Um, and then I'll layer on my moisturizer. But I will apply this oil. This oil, there's something about, I don't know what it is, um, in this oil. Okay. So what I do is I rub it, get it warm, and I just press it in. Press it in, press it in, press it in. Then apply my moisturizer over it and your skin the next day. My son, when he has really bad breakouts, which they've been at bay because of, you know, we've been washing his face, making sure that he's applying his creams. Um, we've been using different. But when he needs a little bit of help, this stuff. The next morning, it's like his face is another face. Um, the, the irritation, the redness that flaring has gone down okay um but this again this stuff amazing this is this is pretty new i think it's come out within the last year and i'm so glad they came out with it because whatever it is that they have in this midnight recovery oil they put it in here and it makes your skin feel amazing okay guys that is it for let's see masks body wash body creams um serums and moisturizers all right i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and i'll see you next time bye